I asked two good questions I think that are really vital, especially for mature people. Number one, what's got you turned on? Question number two, what's got you turned off? Two excellent questions. Food for thought. Ever felt like your mind had a mind of its own? That no matter how hard you try, you just can't get a certain thought or feeling or emotion out of your head. There are times in all of our lives when our minds act independently of us. We notice this when we think thoughts we don't want to think, and no matter how hard we try, we can't seem to stop it. You can take a deep breath now. It happens to everyone. However, just because these are common enough occurrences does not mean you should fold your arms and let those negative thoughts railroad you. Some steps can be taken to stop those negative thoughts from invading your mind and stealing your joy. In this video, we're going to talk about negative thoughts and how to finally get rid of them. If you have ever experienced situations where your mind just can't shut up, this video is definitely for you. Stay tuned. Our critical voices. The human brain is magnificent for many reasons. One such reason is it is capable of creating languages. The guy doubts himself, doubts if it'll last that long for him, doubts if he can do that well, doubts if he can make that much, doubts if he can accomplish all that. A chronic, excellent self doubter. You can imagine what damage that does to your future. It is this singular upgrade, language that is, that gives us an edge over other mammals. Now, we can speak, think abstractly, reason enough to make plans, solve problems, collaborate in groups, learn indefinitely, and live vicariously through other people. So here's the key. Turn this coin over and become a believer. And there's many things to believe in. One of the majors is yourself. Everyone has a part of their mind that speaks to them. It is a natural phenomenon that is common to all humans. This part of the mind that speaks to us can be termed as our advisor. It is that part of you that is linked to the language aspect of your brain. Its job is to serve as your threat detector. Having a threat detector is a good thing, a great thing as it serves to protect us from possible dangers. The threat detector points out all the dangers in our surroundings. Even with all the benefits that our critical voice offers, it can easily spiral into negative thoughts. Critical thoughts pop in our heads at all times during the day. This can lead to negative thoughts surrounding us as we go about our daily lives. We have evolved to experience our thoughts as literal truths. This has allowed us to learn indirectly by listening to what others say, rather than only directly through our own experiences. The critical voices in our heads can get stuck and the non-stop cautious voice results in constant negative thoughts which are its dark side. Without control, the critical voice gains a stronghold and becomes the focal point of our lives which will subsequently lead to trouble. People get stuck in a constant state of negative thoughts when they listen solely to their critical voice speaking. They lose out on reality and fail to notice that sometimes the mind is not correct on what it thinks it is. How to stop the negative thoughts. The problem is not the critical voice. It is how it moves from its allocated spot and spreads its caution all over our mind and grows negative thoughts that attempt to drown us all. Our response to critical thought is imperative to maintaining a healthy lifestyle. Once negative thoughts take hold in the mind, it can be quite difficult to get them out. The cycle of thoughts can easily lead you down a rabbit hole you don't want to get into. To avoid that trap and avoid that hole, the negative thoughts must be stopped as soon as possible before they become a lot more intense. Just like it is easier to stop a rolling ball before it gains momentum, it is also smart to catch and detach the negative thoughts before they get a stronghold in your life. Several tricks and tips can help in getting out the swirl of negative thoughts in your mind before they take a hold. Number one, distract yourself. The moment you realize you are dwelling in the negative, the best thing to do is to find something to distract you. The goal is to choose a task that occupies your mind with something else so the negative thought does not take a stronghold. A couple of exercises that can take your mind off the negative thoughts include 
playing music and dancing, seeking the company of family and friends, watching a movie, reading a book, drawing, taking a walk, or jogging. Number two, take action. Rather than wallowing in the swarm of negative thoughts, you can do something about it. You can choose to do something about the thoughts that are occupying your mind. Outline the needed steps required to deal with the issue. Be as specific as possible and realistic in your expectations. By taking action, you take power from the negative thoughts. That way you're no longer stuck in the endless cycle of negativity and all that it entails. Taking action helps you deal with the negative thoughts once and for all. Outline your plan slowly and take the right steps that will put your mind at ease. Number three, question your thoughts. Sometimes negative thoughts come when we are thinking about the past, when we think we made a major mistake or when we feel responsible for traumatic events that had happened, we find it difficult to let go of the negative thoughts that are taking a foothold in our minds. When such thoughts arise, you can try putting your troubled thought into perspective. By attempting to be as objective as possible with our negative thoughts, we remove the power such thoughts have over our lives and mind. Questioning the negative thoughts helps to realize the little sense the negative thoughts have in the first place. Number four, readjust your life's goals. Unfulfilled expectations and unmet goals can result in negative thoughts taking hold of your life. We have all had grand dreams of how life will turn out when we grow up. However, life may not have been kind in helping us reach our goal. Well, this can result in negative thoughts, feelings of failure, and general dissatisfaction in life. To stop the negative thoughts from taking such importance in your life, you can try adjusting your goals to suit your current reality. By setting realistic goals that you can achieve, you find yourself less besieged with negative thoughts. Number five. Work on enhancing your self-esteem. Those who suffer from reduced self-esteem often deal with a lot of negative thoughts. These negative thoughts further grind their fledgling confidence to the ground. Several studies show that, indeed, lack of self-esteem can be associated with the increased incidence of negative thoughts. This can also result in depression. By taking the right steps to boost your self-esteem, you are taking a giant step in the right direction to rid yourself of negative thoughts. Self-esteem can be boosted via several methods. Some choose to build on existing strengths and attain a level of mastery in those strengths. Being good at something helps you to build self-esteem, which in turn shuts the negative voice in your head off. Others choose to go through the route of psychotherapy to build their self-esteem. With increased self-esteem comes a resulting decrease in the negative thoughts in your head. Number six, try meditation. Many people claim that the art of meditation has done wonders in helping them to get rid of the negative thoughts inside their heads. The art of meditating clears up the mind and can help you get to a state of emotional calmness. With a clear and serene mind, negative thoughts will not have a stronghold in your mind. It is recommended that once the negative thoughts are starting to take hold, it is best to find a quiet space and take a seat. Take deep breaths and focus on nothing other than breathing. This helps you to quiet the critical voices and negative thoughts in your mind. 7. Understand your triggers Sometimes the negative thoughts seem to come out of nowhere and have a stronghold on you. To combat that, you have to recognize your triggers. You have to take note of the situation you find yourself in when you are overwhelmed with negative thoughts. This includes where you are, what time of the day it is, and who is around you, if there is anyone, and what you have been doing during that day. By understanding your triggers, you can then know what to avoid, ensuring you don't fall back into the pit of negative thoughts. If you accidentally find yourself in a swarm of negative thoughts, you can stop the negative thoughts as you now know what triggered them in the first place. Number eight, talk to a friend. One of the things that give negative thoughts so much power is isolation. Being unable to speak up about the negative thoughts that run through our minds makes us feel alone in our struggles. This makes us feel alone and we dwell a lot more on our negative thoughts. By speaking up to friends or family, we can reduce the isolation. 
An outside perspective can also help us realize we are not as alone in our struggles as we think we are. Speaking up helps us gain a different perspective on our struggles, and this helps us to reduce and ultimately stop the negative thoughts that run rampant in our minds. Speaking out to a friend is one of the best ways of stopping negative thoughts, as a fresh perspective is all that is needed to help stop the avalanche of negative thoughts. Number 9. Try Therapy For those who have a long history of negative thoughts calling their heads home, a good way to get rid of the negative thoughts is to try therapy. With the help of a therapist, you can see things from a different perspective and finally put a stop to the negative thoughts inside your head. A therapist can also help you address the issues that are recurring in your mind and address the core of your negative thoughts. This helps to put an end to the negative thoughts that are constantly popping up in your mind. And number 10. Lifestyle Changes You can also put an end to the negative thoughts that run rampant in your head by making some lifestyle changes. Being proactive in identifying and solving your problems can help you to put a stop to the negative thoughts in your mind. Having a support system also creates an avenue where you can speak up about your issues rather than bottling them up, which results in negative thinking. Removing yourself from situations that trigger negative thinking can also help you to put a stop to negative thinking. Conclusion Although it might seem difficult, it is actually quite possible to put a stop to negative thoughts and live a happy, stress-free life. The trick is in taking note of the negative thoughts before they spiral out of control taking proactive steps to remove yourself from situations and taking charge of your thoughts can also help you stop negative thoughts before they spiral out of control. You could try any of the tips to put a stop to the negative thoughts inside your head. You can let us know your progress in the comments section. If you enjoyed the video, make sure you drop a like and subscribe. Oh, and turn on post notifications. Now, if you'll excuse me, Thank you for watching. I'll see you in the next video.